Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, Leaky Femi, coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now, look, 7 p.m. Central Time, daily uploads, guys. You already know what time it is. If you're not here on time, I'm going to teach you a valuable, valuable lesson. It's just that simple, so you better be here on time. But I appreciate the support nonetheless. Guys, we got another one of these cheating videos. Y'all seem to really enjoy these. Um, you feel me? I like these videos. You know, you, you never know who's going to fucking cheat. You know, because it seemed like it's damn near a 95% success rate that these niggas going to cheat every time. But look, this is Jack TV. This video is called, Will He Trade In His Girlfriend For Two Of Her Friends? This nigga want the two for one deal. That nigga said, that nigga said he don't care about fucking quality, he want quantity. So we going to see what this video talking about. I got my Burger King here, as you can see. Let's get the video cooking, man. <laughs> I'm making it right on. I'm recording, right? Okay, good. I'm right now. I'm approaching a hotel. I'm like four minutes away. Right, Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. I'm going to edit that out. Today we are helping Red test her boyfriend's loyalty. Last time I hit you up to help out a friend, I just can't believe I'm sitting here in the same fucking position. Tables have really turned because Red has been on this channel before, but she was just helping out a friend and now she's the one reaching out seeking help. I just, I feel like I need to know for me and I just hope that make us like making me not look crazy, but like I need to know before I be taking shit serious because you not filling in them holes for me, which is also making me feel like, okay, fuck it, you don't care. Like Our decoys, who are also friends of Red, will be hitting on her boyfriend and will be pursuing to get him to come back to their spot. Do you really feel confident with them doing it? I do feel confident. Uh, I feel like I can trust them. Like, yeah. And I feel like it's on camera, like, bitch, don't try me, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like they wouldn't do that. They're my friends, so I, I feel like I could trust them. All right, so everything happens tonight, and shit, you gonna get your answers. Yeah, I'm worried about that shit. <laughs> will Red Boyfriend show us all that he's loyal, or will he trade her for a shot with two of her friends? If he find out that I'm doing this shit, he's gonna be mad as fuck. Let's find out now on Jack TV. Any girl that's with me gonna be good. So I just hit you up now because I feel like I need to test my nigga because inconsistencies make me like push away. Like I need to be showed. In one way, he not being consistent. I feel like you are who you hang around. I get together with all my homegirls. We be keeping it cool, like yeah. handling business. And mm -hmm. I feel like you always hanging around niggas who doing they bitch the worst way, going mm -hmm. viral, cheating, talking to them crazy, alcohol involved, bitches everywhere. It's a lot of money in the air, like, bitches is crawling, like, and I just feel like I need to be sure if I'm taking something mm -hmm. like that serious. Aside from that, has he showed any signs of red flags? No, like, honestly, stuff really be good with us, which is why I kind of feel like I'm going behind his back with this, but I feel like I need to be sure for me. I feel like if he knew this, he would be pissed, like, yeah. pissed, yeah. <laughs> but like, I just, I feel like I need to know for me because you not filling in them holes for me, which is also making me feel like, okay, fuck it, you don't care. Like, Red invited a few of her friends to dinner tonight at Toro Toro, including her boyfriend to help celebrate getting her real estate license, which will be our approach in how we set up today's test. So are we still good for tonight? Yeah, everything is good. I made uh, reservations for dinner tonight. Everything seemed to be a go. Oh. Hey, I'm already on the way downtown. Let's go to the place out to see if we can actually take the cameras in the inside. Oh, so now I'm already downtown. So you're already down there right now? Yeah, I'm down there right now, man. All right, walk you up. This is something I've been working hard on for a long time. It's a big accomplishment for me, so I know he would show up, of course. The Four Seasons. Who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? She sent us the address, and we did just that. Bro, this is a five-star hotel. It's no way they're about to allow us to bring cameras in there. Damn, are you sure, though? 100%. Uh, she didn't so it was understood that we wouldn't be able to bring any cameras inside. It would just draw too much attention and potentially blow our cover. So we decided to just wait until they go in and capture them coming outside, which was taking entirely too long. And valet was trying to get us to move. They should have already been here already. Hey, gang, let's check and see if they already got a table upstairs. Don't take no camera now. Just kind of peek your head in there. It's getting late. What you doing on your phone, bro? Are you focused? Yeah, I'm chilling. You playing the game? Yeah. Bro, you know you be playing games and making money, right? Come on, man. Pebble Reward is an app you can download where you earn a car waiting off into our phones. Distracted, they walked in. They in there already, bro. How they get in there? I don't know, but we missed them. This time many inches, right? Yeah. All right, I got to go get another truck there. All right. 
It was risky, but we texted Red to voice record herself making her exit and shoot us a text before she left, letting us know that they were about to come out. We literally had the second driver drive us around in circles because valet wouldn't let us sit there and wait. But here is Red audio. I fucking hate that shit, that bro. She has to leave and go to work. Bro, you you try to go to the airport, you try to wait on your person. Keep it moving, keep it, man. Shut y'all stupid up, bro. Y'all gotta go to work tonight. I hate that shit, bro. You want us to walk you down? I mean, y'all don't have to, cause it's. Yeah. Yeah, baby, I'm finna go, but but, but I got y'all a truck. Okay. Be safe. Y'all be, right. be safe. Thank you. Right, congratulations. Thank you, baby. I'll okay. see y'all later. So okay. Did they come, come out already? Is that Thomas in the inside? No. No, I'm outside, bro. Nigga, they taking the truck. They think they valeting it. Nah, he'll make it out. Get out of the way. The car's gonna come up. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what's up, my guy? Yeah, what's good, bro? Bro, I gotta take you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the game, man. I gotta tell you all this is my face now. All right. Let's get to right, it, man. Yep. There we go. Try there we go. So we won't lose signal on audio driver. This is already too much. Bro, this nigga pulling up B&B. Oh, you've been, not B&B. Um, Uber truck, black truck, or whatever, with the shorties, and you no longer that, bro. Hell, that's already too much. That's already too much, bro. Cause me personally, I'm not hanging with my shorties' friends without her. I'm not doing that shit, bro. I'm not, unless I'm on some devious shit. But I don't do that shit no more. I ain't doing that. Hell no. You leaving? I'm leaving too. Your friends, they better go somewhere else. I ain't gonna lie. You like the food? Mm -hmm. Yours look good. I wish I would have got what you got. Instead hey, could we play some music? Instead of getting what we have before. Is that a camera right here? Yeah, save the oh, precaution. you gonna call her? He already noticed right. the camera. It's not recording, though. No. Alright. Yeah, I need a phone charger, though. Hey, friend. We just hey, got in the car. Hey, babe. We just letting you know we in here. We got him. Make sure yeah, you get home. Well, y'all be safe. I'm finna pull up to work in a minute. Okay. Uh, just call me on your on your lunch break. All right, babe. I'll see you tomorrow, girl. All hey, right. Love y'all. Love you. Love you. That's a good we gotta come back though, but we gotta come back when she don't have work, so we can really get the whole night. I did too. It was nice in there. I'm glad we went here. For real, I didn't either. I didn't. I got a couple good ones in the bathroom though. Okay. Yeah. Why are you so quiet? I'm just chilling, really. You good? Yeah. Is it glass broke over there? I'm already just chilling. Yeah, I want you to know how I feel. We've been together. Nah, oh, that's know. a red flag. You gotta chill. think about it. And chill, I definitely do know. We've been we've been talking for probably like a minute, probably like almost. Actually, I knew him for like two years. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Two years. But like us being together, like like five six months, five six months. Nah, no, nah, I'm definitely sure that's my boo. We on and off. So you know y'all friends for two years? Yeah. We just cool. Like we just knew each other tight. Bro. We have been on and off for like maybe the last two three months, cause. Bro, I just can't trust this man. Like, he just do weird little shit, and I feel like nobody gonna speak on that part that make somebody feel like they gotta go these lengths. Like, if you actually care about somebody, you wanna, like, clear the bases. Me, like, personally, I'm not going these lengths, bro. I'm just gonna leave. Off for a couple months. Like, I feel like I should do this to, like, be sure if I feel like, you know, like, let's just take this shit serious. Let's not be wasting time. I'm gonna keep with the on and off games, like, Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate to just come through with shit if I don't have evidence. Like, I feel like I feel. something like this is evidence for me to just go with my move. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like she got good vibes, good energy. You know what I'm saying? She's smart. She's not like a follower. You know, she got something going for herself. I'm so proud of this. Yeah, I am too. Like, she not a sexy red, too. So. Yeah. She not a sexy red. Yeah, she not a sexy red, so. That make her different too. I like different girls. And she different. W man, W. He not fucking folding. He not folding, bro. He not folding. That nigga. That nigga sound like me. I don't want no fucking sexy bread, nigga. 
You feel me? That's fun. They fun to hang with, but me personally, I don't want to cuff a sexy red. I don't, bro. I don't. You feel me? I got girlfriends. You feel me? Shorties that I'm cool with. You know, they do their little shit. They they in the club wilding out. They do that. But my shorty? No, no, no. My nigga, no, no, no. Matumbo style, nigga. No. Hell no. To grill you really in this car, see what you was about with our girl. Make sure you're street high. Or what? Or what, bro? Shorty, bro, shorties be, shorties be, yeah, trying to look after their friend, but then they let their friends make the same dumb mistakes, bro. You, you, you let the friend go choose this nigga that's finna do it wrong. You let the, fr bro, but then when, when a new nigga come along, you wouldn't try to grill him as if you about to save her. She gonna make her decision, rather, rather y'all like it or not, and then y'all gonna do what y'all do. Y'all either gonna tell her to break up with him or all this other stuff, or y'all gonna make her rethought. It's either, it's either one. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if, if girls give other girls good advice. I don't think I've seen it before. You feel me? Because shorties I hang with, they both making the same dumb mistakes <laughs> together <laughs> as a unit. They both doing it like as a, as a friend group. They all doing dumb shit. You feel me? So, I don't want to hear it, man. Don't worry about it. So, you ain't never cheated? Talked to anybody else outside of you and her? Nah, nah, nah. Since I've been with her, I already don't cheat. Though. You know what's crazy? Hey, you know what's... Black men don't cheat. That shit oh, real. Oh, yeah. He's speaking facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, that shit real. I for real. Well, <laughs> how, about, how about I speak for myself? You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, I don't cheat. You. you know what I'm saying? I don't cheat. I'm a good dude. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't want my girl doing something good. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. So you um you wouldn't want her doing it to you, so you ain't gonna do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it because if she do it to me, I'm a I'm gonna turn up. You feel me? <laughs> you gonna crash out? Nah, not crash out. <laughs> I got too much to lose, but I'm gonna get on her ass though for sure. Like you know, so in order for me to avoid that, I'm gonna set the tone. You know, she gonna go off me. She gonna okay, well, TC don't do this, my nigga don't do this. I ain't gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? But how you know she she not thinking like you know? Uh, we had this. We had this conversation. We had this so why y'all owning off? You think I've been with this girl for five? For what's going on? Six months anniversary. You think I've been with her for six months? I'm gonna say six months is really five, but I'm gonna say six because I'm speaking into existence. I know. I know. I know I'm gonna last with my girl. I know we finna make it to six months. So you think I talked to a girl for six months and she don't understand? We not. She don't understand my lingo. W what? W what he talking about? W maybe he just an outgoing talkative person, but. I'm not blabbering all day to my shorty's friends, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to keep the situation short and sweet. Because these shorties love the back door, and then they try to blame you. Girl, he tried to do this to me. Nigga. <laughs> no. So I keep it short and sweet. I, yeah, bro. I, we locked in. Don't worry about it. We locked in. Keep it short and sweet. Come on. You, just saying, you never know what somebody is thinking. Now, that is true. Nah, what the <laughs> fuck? Hey, what the hell on? Girl, I know we finna make it to six months. So you think I talked to a girl for six months and she don't understand? We not? She don't understand my lingo? You know what I'm saying? Come on. You're just saying you never know what somebody is thinking. Now that is true. Oh girl, you spicy. Nah, that is spicy. No cap. I'm a fun type of dude. I definitely. We definitely had those type of talks, you know what I'm saying? But that's, that's our, that's me and her yeah. business, you know? So you keeping it private. But we her friends. She be talking about yeah, it to us anyway. She be talking about it just like y'all talk. We talk to her. Exactly. We know all of this. Yeah. Yes. So what's girl talk? What girl, what she be telling y'all? She be telling us a lot. What's a lot? <laughs> you be telling us a lot. I'm just saying. Yeah. You looking at me. You must want to, <laughs> you must want to tell me. I can't tell you that's yeah. real code. We can't tell you what she told us, but just. But y'all want me to tell y'all stuff. Yeah, because you're not a girl. After listening in to the conversation, I didn't know they were going to grill him as hard and make the conversation about Red as much. And maybe that was hindering him from opening up. So I sent one of the decoys a text telling her that we were going to drop her off so TC wouldn't feel he's being interrogated. And this way, maybe he can focus on decoy number one since they seem to be more engaged in the conversation. Mm. Everybody get dropped off first. She get dropped off first. Oh yeah, thank you for dinner. Uh, no, Chris, bro, continue to get good friends for her, okay? <laughs> I will. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of this shit. Bye, friends. Bye. See you later. Be safe. I will. Be good. I'll text you when I get home.
Love you. Bro, let's get to it. Take care of my friend. I didn't think she was gonna see my text. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get in the game. Damn, you're going in the house already. It's only 10. Yeah, I'll be chilling on my homebody. Oh, you homebody? So, you, when you come to my house and chill? When I come to your house and chill? Yeah. The fuck? We ain't gotta go out. Off the record, though. All this shit's off the record. But I know you be cheating. I know you be cheating. Don't lie. You ain't gotta lie to me. I'm not gonna say that. But why I gotta be cheating? Because ain't no way you look that good and you treat a woman that good and you ain't got options. Nigga, hey, get your ass, bro. Me personally, yeah, bro. I would have started crashing out. I was like, who the fuck you talking to? I was, look, first off, I'm gonna say, baby, why you glazing? What's going on? Is this a test? That's probably what I would say. Because why you just glaze so hard? I know you be choosing. You look that good. I know you got options. Nigga, why is you glazing me so hard? Relax. 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 Because you didn't flip the switch so fast. You didn't flip the switch so fast. You feel me? That's how I see it. When a girl, when a girl first meets you, she either going to glaze right off the back or she going to kind of try to hide the glaze and it's eventually going to show. Y'all been talking for a little minute in the car having a regular conversation and then all of a sudden she just start glazing. With no, with no gradual increase. I know you look that good. What you about to do? You want to come home and chill? Nigga, what? Is this a test? That's what, bro. No, hell no. Even if I was on some cheating shit, bro, this wouldn't have caught me. I would have easily sniffed this out like a motherfucking dog or some shit. And then I would have been like, shorty, I know what you're doing. That's simple. I, nah, this shit, nah. I hope his radar going off because, nigga, this is elementary right here. That's why she don't treat me good. She get played to the level. That's cute. That's cute and all. But I know you like it. It's okay though. So, I'm, I just feel like I need to get straight to the point because you being around the bush. Do you want to come to my house? Or? What am I coming to your house for? Right. To vibe. Finish the vibe. The party. Trying to look at me dead in my eyes, bro. You trying to? Because I I'm having tell. a conversation. I'm just trying to see. Chilling. Good shit. So you like, I'm cool with my homegirl, but her man look good, so I'm gonna try him. Basically, right? <laughs> Crazy work. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, really, that's they're they're closer than me and her are. I'm just yeah. I'm closer to the girl that was just here. Oh shit, bro! A girl hit me with one of these. I ain't gonna lie, she hit me with one of these, bro. Crazy, devious work. Crazy. And I ain't going to act like I got a golden record, guys. Uh, Shorty hit me with one of these. You feel me? I kind of, you know, flirted back. Nothing happened. And then she went and told her friend that I was trying to trying to get her. Crazy how it works, guys. Crazy how it works. Crazy how it works. You feel me? Especially if it's alcohol involved, you know. Hey, maybe it was a test. But you can't fucking call everything a test. Sometimes it's fucking cheating. Sometimes you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't be like, oh, touching and grabbing and then, it was a test. You can't fucking do that, bro. That's cheating. Like, what the? Come on, bro. Especially under the influence. It's her friend, so I just became cool with her. Oh, man. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. Am I tripping on that van van following us? Yeah. Probably want to make it right. If you make it right with us, then why are you paranoid? You asking about his camera? I'm a star. I gotta be on point. You tripping? What you mean? Oh, you a star. I gotta be on point. You tripping? I'm just saying. You asking about his camera? You looking at Vans? People is driving. We in Houston. If you so loyal, then why can't you come? Come on, I'm just chilling. I didn't say to do nothing else. No, nigga. That's why you scared. Because you're not looking at me. You're on your phone. You
You know, if you're so loyal, then why can't you come to my house and just chill? Bro, what type of... Bro, this is cheap. Bro, this is what I'm talking about with these loyalty tests, bro. They call it loyalty tests, but she grilling this nigga. Come to my house. Come to my house. Come to my house. Oh, you don't want to look me in my eyes? Come to my house. Come to my house. At what point is it not a test no more and that's fucking cheating, bro? What? Like... You grilling me. You basically interrogating me, bro. It's like when these niggas go to the... These niggas getting interrogated by, by the police. They don't want to snitch and shit. And they just start grilling them. What, you, what happened? What happened? What happened? We'll let you out. We'll, we'll, bro, you trying to force this nigga to fold unorganically. Inorganically, guys. You feel me? Because at one point, is it like he passed the test... But you keep giving them fucking test after test after test after test after test after test after test. Like, bro. Wait, 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 wait. What that, what that nigga Cat Williams say? That nigga said, I had to turn down 40 million four times. That nigga Diddy was on him trying to give him money to smash, bro. Who knows? Maybe that 10th time, maybe maybe Cat Williams would have been like, all right, fuck it. How many times, look, how, look, 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 how many times your freaky ass, did he, did he say he was going to give you 40 million to touch you? <laughs> nigga, how many times was you going to turn that down, nigga? Huh? Because you niggas freaky and do anything for money. How many times was you going to turn that down? I never said anything about doing nothing extra, so if you thinking that, then I mean it's in your head. That's true. You know, if you're so loyal, then why can't you come to my house and just chill? Because. I never said anything about doing nothing extra. So if you thinking that, then I mean it's in your head. How the fuck you gonna throw it on me? This is uncomfortable for me. Why right. You ain't never had a girl apply pressure? Look, if I see something I want, I'm gonna get it. So Nigga, this is harassment. What the? Bro. No. Because girls can harass too. I don't. Talking about you ain't never seen no girl apply pressure. First off, I've never seen a girl with actual game. If if, if it was bro, if roles were reversed and the girls had to spit game to us and like because as a guy, it's it's a it's a thin line between applying pressure and fucking harassing this girl. It's a thin line. Bro, this is harassment. You ain't had nobody apply pressure. What she say? If I want it, I'ma get it. Nigga, what? You can't say that shit. Nah, bro. I'm just asking you. What's yeah. up? I don't understand what's the problem. Bro, cuz, bro. You still asking me the same question, my nigga. I have told you I'm good. I'm not trying to do shit with you. I'm good. I'm chilling, bro. I met you with my girl, and you trying to do all this flirting shit. I'm not flirting with you. I try to play some music. You're not on that. I'm trying to look okay, out look, the window. Look, look. You don't need to get upset. I'm not trying to do that, bro. Chill. You don't need to be upset. Yes, he does. Because you want to disrespect you, fool. Stop asking me that shit. There we go. I've been told you. I'm ticking, bro. I'm ticking. There we go, yeah. Get your legs. Face the hole. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. See, that? no, that's harassment. Call the fucking police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm about to end the video. Call the police. Call the police. Because at what point is it, it is it harassment for the girl, bro? He said, turn your legs that way. No, I don't want to do nothing with you. And she turned her legs anyway. Nigga, this is harassment, nigga. Call the police. Call the fucking police, buddy. Call the police. Call this is the only way. This is the only way that this can stop. Call the police, bro. Because if he get physical because he's fucking harassed him, then this nigga gonna be in big, 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 big trouble, nigga. Big trouble, nigga. For real. Chill, bro. I'm not fucking with you, I'm telling you, bro. I don't understand. What's the problem? All I said was to come and chill, hang out. Not anything else. Why are you looking like that? What is the problem? Chilling, bro. All I know is this truck did not pull over in the gas station and we pull over. Because the driver was following so close behind, he was risking blowing our cover. But Thomas was driving so fast that we couldn't keep up and we didn't want to risk getting lost. Yes, sir. Pull over up here at the store. Um, I'm going to make sure we good. Why are you paranoid about that? Fucking bro, I'm not worried about nothing you talking about, bro. I ain't gonna love. I'm fucking, bro. What? Hello? Hey, hey, somebody follow me, bro. Hey, stay on the phone, bro. Somebody follow me, bro. Why are you telling people that people's following me? 
because, bro. And then I got this girl in the car, bro. I'm in a black truck, bro. And I got this girl in the car on some dumb shit, bro. Okay, don't I'm be finna, trying to make finna kick her out, bro. Supposed to be dropping her off to the crib. She finna get out, bro. Don't kick me out. My friend ordered the car. She gotta go. And it's a car, black truck, follow me. Another car, what? Been following me for five minutes. I'm finna pull over at the gas station. I really want to call you twins, like it's on the phone. No, she got to go. I'm mad because I was trying to get him to come to my house and he don't want to come. You're not trying to go to your house, bro. I don't want that twat. But. <laughs> she trying to back door. It's right here. Don't worry about it. It sounds like a back door. She finna get out. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not getting out of nowhere. She got to go. She got to go. Yeah, she finna go. We finna pull over right now. Wait, did they just follow? They just follow behind them? Tripping, bro, and I'm on the phone with my partner, bro. Thinking some shit finna go down. You follow me in a car, cameras and shit, bro. Bro, she on some spot shit. Cause you be acting fucking funny as fuck, bro. Well, bro. bro. Tripping, bro. Break up with her. Mad with me, bro. What's going on? You're getting mad at me. Bro, what's going Nigga, on? Nigga, cause you always acting like a fucking cheater. So I'm like, you making me feel insecure. Yo, hell no. I'm about to end the video, guys. I'm sorry. I'm ending the video right now. I'm gonna have to end it with. Bro, this nigga passed the test. This nigga still getting pressed, bro. Why is he still getting pressed? He passed the test and you be making me feel insecure. Bro, did he win or not? It's called passing the test. You get a reward for that, right? What the? F Why is he getting grilled like he did something wrong? <sighs> I'm about to lose it, bro. I have other motherfuckers trying to test you and you sitting here with attitude with me. Bro. And now everybody look like an asshole. So you test everybody me, Everybody looking bro. crazy. You test me because you're insecure. Bro, I can't do nothing but laugh at you because you're a dope. Ask them, bro. Hold on, ho. To you. Hold on, ho. Loyal to you, bro. Hold on. Don't play with me. Even if you're mad, nigga, don't don't let bro. these cameras pump bro. you, ho. Because you, you're just like, nigga, wait, wait. we all out here looking yeah. stupid, nigga. I'm trying to argue with Cotton C. So why you, you got on your camera again? Because nigga, you act like a cheater. If you gave a fuck for real, you would be like, damn, why you got to do that instead of trying to clown me? What do I do to act like a cheater? Nigga, you always going out with these chats. I ain't watching this shit no more. Hope y'all enjoyed the video because I didn't. What the fuck? This nigga just passed the test and he's still getting pressed about it. Nah, that's the type of shit make my blood boil, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Because you, you, you put this nigga on camera to test him. He passed. And then you still trying to press the nigga. Bro, he passed. What was the point of doing all that then? Just for him to pass and for you to still complain about how you feel. No, hell no, I ain't watching this shit. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I didn't.